show your show the temperature before and after. It's a dangerous hot zone. So 220. Yeah, I don't believe that little. Today's video is me responding to some of your comments. I, I put out a, a short while ago talking about the, my love jugs. You know, if you haven't seen that, a short like 50 second video talking about how that air cooled engines suffer from overheating, especially in slow speeds, high temperature uh, days because not enough air is blowing on them. And a few companies came out with the concept of blowing, let's blow some air on the fins and move the air away, the hot air away. So that will cool the engine. And they claim that it actually decreases the temperature of the engine, of the oil, the, the whole engine significantly. A lot of comments out there from you guys were like, yeah, I don't believe that little fan. Cause look at this, look at this fan. It's like literally, look how small it is. These two little fans that, by the way, go at very high speed, I don't know, thousands, tens of thousands of RPMs. But anyway, that that little, this little fan can actually do anything. And a lot of people said, yeah, show us, prove it, you know, like show your, show the temperature before and after. Truth is that you got a point there. Truth is that you got a point there. I actually never, Never checked it out myself. So today, what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna take this bike on a trial. Do it on the Lowrider ST over here. What we're gonna do, we try to do it as, uh, as scientific as possible. Gonna start the engine. It's, it's relatively a cold day, it's not really hot. But we're gonna start the engine, let it uh, run for five minutes. Get it up to idling speed. Let it run for five, 10 minutes so we get it at, at like running idle temperature. Take measurements in a few spots. I didn't decide yet. I take our uh, readings and then start the fan. Start the love jugs. Let them run for five, 10 minutes and see if there's a decrease in the temperature. Let me do a cold start right now. Desert Dogs, this is Advan Black, chin spoiler. Moved my forward, my mid control to forward control, did a whole setup. Harley parts, Sawiki speed two into one. Exhaust, I got a 30-30, star 30-30 cam in here. Stage two, with uh, SNS racing springs on the top. SNS air breather. My saddleman, step up, the tuck and roll design. Custom dynamics, lay down plate, custom dynamics, lights. This is a low profile. Love jugs, We've got risers, six and a half inch risers. Bunky, Advan Black carbon fiber handguard. My quad lock wireless charger and custom dynamic lights all over custom dynamics I have everything I just told you and showed you I have a video of how I installed it and the specs check out my channel subscribe so you can see all the full-length videos I probably forgot something that I can't remember right now oh yeah this is pretty cool this is a little remote Bluetooth remote that controls my phone and that serves as a remote for my Ross Rockford Fosgate music soundbar over here. Rashes supplies, 
handlebar bag right here. I'm, I'm positive I forgot something. Oh yeah, the Trask breather. The transmission cover breather right there. See it? Okay, let's see what temperatures they've got. A thousand, yeah, we're at idle. We'll give it another five minutes so we know it's the right uh, running temperature, the idle running temperature. Okay, we're 10 minutes, 10 minutes in idle. Okay, let's give it a try. No fan. I had to go in to analyze. I'm downloading all the info onto the computer. See if there's a, uh, I don't remember. I'll see if there's a drop. Okay, I went in and I couldn't, uh, I couldn't remember. So I took all the information down, I wrote it down. Now let me break down what we have over here. Rear cylinder before 195, after 173. That's a 22 degrees Fahrenheit drop. Front cylinder 220 before 185, after 35 degrees drop at uh, the oil filter itself 141 before 133 with the fans that is eight let me go around i'm just giving you the facts then we'll decide what front cylinder two 216 before 199 with the fans 17 degrees drop rear cylinder 197 without 184 with the fans 13 degrees drop and the cam chest area, 157 without, 148 with the fans. That is nine degrees drops. So there is a drop if you use the fans. Those are the facts. What I wanna say, uh, a few things about the results. Uh, I did an average. I did an average. I took uh, the average temp of all the readings before and after, and I got there the average. The average temperature was 187. The drop was 17.3 degrees which means there was a decrease of 17.3 degrees Fahrenheit, which are nine and a half percent drop. So the comments that I got from people were, oh, it's not significant or it is significant. You decide, you decide if nine and a half percent decrease in temperature is significant or not. I'm not gonna decide, it's your choice. I put it on, just keep in mind a few things, the oil, actually loses its, its uh, efficiency at uh, the temperatures of around 220 Fahrenheit. Any drop you're able to get and, and keeping it away from that zone, from that uh, dangerous hot zone. So keep that in mind. Second thing, we noticed actually that this side with the fans was colder than this side, which, mean, which is obvious because uh, the fan uh, are blowing on that side. But just keep in mind, we're taking an average of everything. Well, the whole engine as a block uh, has different heat uh, heat zones. Uh, but what's really important is actually the oil. And that's where uh, we took the oil readings over here. That's the most significant. Some people were actually saying, it doesn't really matter that you're blowing the air. 
at the outside of the uh, of the engine. What's important is inside. Well, yes, the outside, the whole block, the whole piece of metal that it's cooled down affects the inner part, the oil itself. And you def definitely saw a drop at the oil uh, oil temperature by the filter. So those are the facts. Now it's your decision if you want to, you know, embrace this uh, method or not. It's on my bike. I believe in it. And now actually the facts. Uh, just proved it. So now listen, before you fill up the comments down there that it's relatively a cold day and should try it out during the summer, I know it's the time of the year. I just had the chance, the opportunity to make this video. I promise you during the summer, I'm going to check this as well when outer temperatures are, are higher and then we'll see as well. It's not too cold now. It's not, it's definitely not hot. And obviously when it's colder, the cooling with the fans is mo way more efficient. Don't get all uh, hysterical, bent up and and bombing your keyboard. Oh yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's cold outside. It's that's why it's working. We'll check it summer as well. Obviously, it makes a difference how hot it or cold it is outside. Anyway, so before you log off, I just want to remind you, I'm having two giveaways: the Lexan air pump. If you didn't see my video from a week ago, check it out. The Lexan air pump. It's very simple. Just watch it, and you know the video tells you what you need to do. So the raffle is going to be in the next few days. And there's another great giveaway. We're having a, a giveaway by Beyond Riders. The random winner is going to be getting uh, any shirt, any Kevlar shirt he wants. So head over uh, to my Instagram and, and to the video that uh, announces it, and uh, take part in it. It's free. Win yourself a Kevlar shirt. That's it, guys. I hope this was informative. And I answered a few questions. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out.